Raycast Focus, a new feature in Raycast that allows you to block distracting apps and websites so you can get started on a task and stay in the flow. Now, let me be honest with you. I didn't think I needed this. Whenever I had to work on something, I always thought that I had enough willpower to just go ahead and do what I needed to do. And also, I've been using Raycast to help me with that for years. But really, the way that Raycast has helped me focus is by reducing context switching in more ways than you can imagine. There's of course, app switching that I can do with hotkeys and not have to search for them and lose momentum. There are extensions like GitHub and Linea that make me not even have to open these apps to create issues. If I'm using web apps, there are quick links that take me directly to them so I don't get distracted by social media or everything else that's in my browser. Clipboard history, window management, AI, notes, everything that I talk about in basically every single video in this channel has had its own contribution to helping me and you stay in the flow. And it's always been this way. So I was hesitant to try this new feature that I'm about to show you. I thought that everything I was using Raycast for was already more than enough to reduce distractions, but boy, was I wrong. So I wanna tell you why and how you can incorporate this into your workflow alongside all of the features and commands that Raycast already gives you. Like I said before, when you start a Raycast focus session, you get to block distracting apps and websites for a certain period of time. It's very easy, it's very quick, and you're gonna love it. And the first time I used it, it changed everything. Let me tell you what happened. So here at Raycast, I do a lot of different types of tasks. I might be uh, planning the next meetup, or writing our newsletter, or making a video. And different types of tasks require different amount of focus. There are tasks that I can do without getting distracted at all, like tweeting a sneak peek for Raycast for Windows. But then there are tasks that I find it so hard to stay focused and I'm getting distracted by everything, like when I'm reading and rehearsing a script for a video like this. So a few weeks ago, I decided to put my ego aside and finally try this feature out. So I started a new focus session, set it for 30 minutes and blocked my main sources of distractions like Slack, calendar, browser, email, stuff like that. Then I started reading the script and within a few minutes, I noticed that I tried to open Slack for no reason whatsoever. It's just unintentional. But what happened was that it got blocked and I immediately realized that all of those distractions were out of reach. Psychologically, that made such a big difference to me. There was just one thing that I needed to do and I couldn't really do anything else. It felt amazing. And so now, whenever I need to make a video, like right now, I'm in a focus session. Let me show you how to set this up. You open up Raycast and search for start focus session. Here you can set a goal. You can see that mine says write newsletter because that's the last thing I was focused on. There's only two more things you have to set, a duration and what to block. Let's say we want to write for 30 minutes and let me clear this block list so we can start from scratch. Here it's helpful to start simple by putting up things that you think will distract you, say Slack, browser and messages. Now I can just hit enter and you see this little timer with the goal is going to pop up. You can also pause or complete the session over here. But for now, I can open Notion and start writing. Quick and easy, and this might just be enough already. You'll be surprised how peaceful it is not to get a bunch of notifications for a while. And here's what happens if my muscle memory tries to open Slack. You get this really nice pop up and a glow to remind you of what you're supposed to be focused on and an option to snooze for three minutes if you really need to switch context for a bit. Now, when I'm finished with my focus session, I can just complete it and I get this really nice green glow that tells me I did a great job. A bit of dopamine hit, not gonna lie, feels really good. Here's a small complication though. Often there is work that you need to do that involves the browser. 
and the browser is the villain and the source of most distractions and notification and little red badges and dynamic title attributes that try to catch your attention. That's why we added the option to block websites and not just apps. If you start a new focus session, you see a lot of it is pre-filled because we just set this up, which is really helpful. So I can just edit the block list here to remove the browser and add some more specific things to block like x.com, instagram.com and say whatsapp.com. This obviously takes a little while and you'd have to remember everything. It's a bit laborious to put everything down. We have two solutions for this. The first is that just like we saw, Raycast saves everything we put here automatically. So whenever you wanna start a session, instead of coming here, you can just use the toggle focus session command instead. You will get right into your focus mode without having to set anything up, which means you only have to do it once. But even better, we have some preset block lists. So when you're setting up a session, you can just press the down arrow key and you see that there are smart, pre-made groups of websites and apps that will work for most people. And of course, you can still block specific websites that personally suck you out of the flow. I, for one, love to check vinted.com so I can add it here to make sure you won't distract me while I'm writing next month's newsletter. And that's about it. But as always with Raycast, there are ways to tweak and customize things. While you're in a focus session, the little hamburger menu lets you dock the floating panel into the menu bar for a cleaner look or reset its position. If you search for the command and press shift, command, comma, you can change some of its preferences like the default snooze duration. Careful with that one though. We found that three minutes is the sweet spot to make sure you stay on track. And of course, you can set a hotkey to make it even faster to get into focus mode. Hyper F could be a great option for the toggle focus session command. We think that in the future, this could be one of the most useful features of Raycast. So much so that we even made an ad for it, which you can watch right up here. It came out really nice. We're always gonna be the app that you can tweak and customize to create hundreds of workflows that get rid of context switching and lets you stay in the flow. But with this new feature and hopefully more to come, we shift the focus more to the human side, to the person in front of the computer with the amazing setup, the mechanical keyboards, all of the tools to help optimize and get their work done, but who is just as prone to getting distracted by a Slack message, a Twitter notification, or a YouTube rabbit hole. So if Raycast can nudge you in the right direction and help you not do that, why not?